Today marks the end of an era. The end of another one of Nintendo's online shops. Actually two, because the 3DS one is also closing down today, but today I'm focusing on the Wii U because this one means more to me than the 3DS one. I hadn't even opened, I actually opened up my 3DS one more time today. I hadn't opened it up since December 7th, 2018, the day of Smash Bros Ultimate coming out. That's the last time I opened my 3DS. Almost five years later is the next last time I opened it. And there was, I, I was, rushed with nostalgia but focusing on the wii u today the wii u shop is closing down and i i feel like it was just yesterday when the wii shop was closing and it it, it sucks you know it is yeah the shop's closing in just five minutes of me recording this so yeah this is this is it this is it's looked like this for ages i mean i'm sure they haven't bothered to update it because it's it's, it's old. The Switch has been out for six years now, I think. Yeah, the last game, well, the last Nintendo game that came out was Breath of the Wild. They actually have been adding, uh, there were a few games added just very recently. Yeah, so if you go into new releases here, you can actually see this game actually came out not that long ago. As you can see, it is March 27th, you know, when the shop is closing. If it'll load it didn't go down yet did it we should have a couple more minutes february 16th 2023 it only came out like a month before the shop closed and i, I did buy it just be just for the sole fact that it was the uh last game the, this is this is officially the last wii u game ever like not counting physical this is digital the last wii u game is this game i really have no idea it looks kind of like undertale in the little no, it doesn't. I oh, oh yeah, here it does. This is what I was looking at when I thought that. <laughs> but it's a sad day because even though like 95% of the games on this console were just crap, there were some good games and I am nostalgic for this. A lot of people didn't like the Wii U. I liked the Wii U. I'm sad that it didn't succeed because um, I feel like there was a lot more potential that Nintendo just wasn't, they didn't want to bother with because it was a failure. All right, looks like we got about another about another minute and 15 seconds before it closes down. Yeah, Shakedown Hawaii. I think this is the last game that's physical that you can... And this... When did this come out? This was the last physical game. Oh, what do you mean? High traffic? Are you lying to me, Nintendo? We should have one more minute! Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that it? I didn't get to see when Shakedown Hawaii came out. We should have 45 seconds. It's not even loading. Hold on, we can go. Hurry up. I wonder if it's actually just closed or if there's just a lot of people trying to get in or something to, to, to commemorate this historic event. You're just gonna give me that high traffic? Yeah, cause nothing's loading anymore. Oh no, it closed the whole shop. What did it, what happened? This might be the last time I ever play this little game. Come on. Oh, come on, please. I don't even have that Kirby game. Why is it? Why is that Kirby game appearing now? It never appeared for me. That might not be a good sign. And yeah, it's officially over now. The shop's closed. That's it. I'll try one more time, you know, just to make sure. But yeah, it is. It, it seems to be closed. Oh, yep. That 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 seems pretty, pretty concrete. So yeah, that that is it. Unfortunately, I should have I should have joined a few minutes earlier, probably. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. And you know, I was sad to see it go. And this is the last console. That is it. Now there is no more virtual console. We only have subscription retro games for Nintendo. Like that is it. And so, as you can see from my screen here, I have bought quite a few uh, games. I spent over a thousand dollars of my own money just buying games from the Wii U shop. I, someone did a video where they bought every single game and I was already in the process of, you know, buying all my games when that was going on. And then I realized that you could only buy 300 games. And I was nervous because I'd been buying so many games and I counted up all the icons that I had on my Wii U because you would only have 300. And I had 266 at the time when I found out and I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta be careful. And now I have exactly 300 icons on my on my Wii U. So so I wasn't able to get every game that would have cost me like, like $20,000 to buy every game, but I spent over a thousand. I got a good deal of games and yeah, let's just take a look through them. 
First, we got NES games. I have 30 NES games. So I'm, I don't need to read off every one. You guys can look for yourself. But I do want to point out Duck Hunt because Duck Hunt has never been re-released on any console besides the Wii U. You can only play this on the original NES and the Wii U. You can't play it on NES Classic, 3DS, Wii, you know, nothing else. This is the only way. So I had to get Duck Hunt. It is a classic. So and then, yeah, just, you know, kind of your typical... I, I was, and I only have Super Mario Bros. 1 because I bought that a while ago. I think I was going to use it, like, I was going to use footage from it for, like, a, a Mario Smash montage that I never ended up doing because the footage got corrupted. Uh, but, yeah, so I just have that. I didn't want to buy the other two because there's a million ways to play the other two. I kind of wanted to try to keep one, keep it to ones that are a little bit harder to play. So, yeah, I probably didn't need, like, Yoshi either, Dr. Mario, but... We have them now. This is it. I have no way to buy more games. So what I have now is what I'm stuck with. I have a few less SNES games. Uh, a lot of the ones that I wanted, you guys might notice that I don't buy a lot of the classics. Like the ones that are really easy to play, like the ones on the SNES classic, I try to avoid. And I obviously know these two are on the SNES classic, but uh, this one, I just, I kind of, I bought Mario Kart because I wanted to have all of them on the same console and not, not sure why I bought this one again. Next, I have 25 GBA games. I got, I got, I think I got every single Mario GBA game that was on the the Wii U. You uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I got all of them. And that, yeah, that includes all the spin-offs. We got the Game and Watch Gallery. We got Mario Party, tennis, kart, golf. You know, every everything you need, and the Mario and Luigi game, which I obviously had to get. And yeah, we got the Zelda games. I had to get the Zelda games and yeah, just, just a couple other games I thought I might be interested in. You know, a lot of these games, GBA games, you know, I'm not paying 50 bucks a year so that I can play some of the more popular GBA games. Like, like, do you think they're ever going to bring back, uh, what's one they're not going to bring back? Like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival. Do, do you think this is going to come to GBA online? Like, and even if most of these do come to GBA online, like I'm not paying, I'm not paying 50 bucks a year. I spent my money, I can play these games for the rest of time, whenever I want. Up next, I got 17 N64 games. I actually bought quite a few of them on the Wii Shop, so I did it, I opted not to buy some of the classic, like I didn't buy Mario Kart or Smash Bros or anything like that, just because I already owned them on the Wii Shop. There wasn't that many, there actually wasn't that many N64 games, uh, so I got almost all of them besides the ones that I already own. I, I was disappointed, they, there's no Mario Party 1, no Mario Party 3, no GoldenEye, nothing. No banjo, obviously. Like, nothing... Like, there was a lot of classics just missing, which I was kind of disappointed about, but I got what I could. And now we have 22 DS games, and... Yeah, I also want to say that some of these games, even though I said I'm not trying to get games that are super easy to play, like, obviously, like, I... Obviously, I could buy all of these games physically if I wanted to, even though that's going to be really expensive, but... Uh, I also I also buy a lot of these games just so I can record them easily. Like, you know, I don't have a DS capture card. It's it's very difficult to record on that, and I feel like it's just better on here in a lot of ways. So that's why, like, I bought New Super Mario Bros. just so I could film that Luigi Poker video. I don't know, you, most of you probably remember that. That was one of my more popular videos. I, I recorded that on the Wii U using this because it's so much easier. And yeah, these are the other ones. If I want to record more videos that involve different games, I can do that with all these games on the Wii U. So if I ever get a video idea that involves the new Super Mario Bros. games, like I can I can play them. And then Wii, yeah, I didn't want to buy many Wii games just because I I feel like I can buy most of the one. I have a lot of Wii games physically. I actually don't own any of these ones except for Galaxy 2 physically. Uh, I'm not sure why I bought this one again, but I think I had the idea that I was gonna buy all of the games that I already own just to have a full collection, but Obviously, you know, being limited to 300, I can't do that, obviously. And I didn't want to spend a million dollars on this video. And, of course, the Metroid Prime Trilogy. This was 20 bucks. I feel like I kind of got this for a steal getting this for 20 bucks since they just released one on Switch, the first one, for 40 So, yeah, obviously the graphics are going to be better and all that, but graphics were never a big deal for me. Yeah, and I got the Resident Evil game. This one, I actually was not going to get at all, but it was a $40 game on sale for, like... Uh, no, that was the Wii U version. But there there was one that was like, yeah, all, I think all the Resident Evil games were on sale for just a couple bucks. And they were actually at the top of the, the sales charts at the very end because 
everyone was just buying them because these games, these expensive games were like only a couple bucks. Even if you don't really like it that much, it's kind of a steal. And yeah, these are the Wii U games that I had. I bought these two because these were actually removed a while before the Wii U shop closed because when Super Mario Maker 2 came out and the new 3D World on the Switch, they actually removed both of these when those games came out. And I thought I would just buy them digitally. They were only 20 bucks each. Uh, so I don't know. I just wanted to have them digitally, even though I own both of them physically already. I don't know. And I bought these two just to make sure I'd have them because these are games that I would actually play. And, you know, there's going to be a day, guys, where the Wii U shop closes and uh, not the Wii U, that's happened already, where the Wii U servers close. That's, I think, is the final nail in the coffin for the Wii U. We're not there yet. The online servers you can still play Wii U games online. I'll, I'm obviously gonna do another video. I'll play all three of these games and I would do a few others, but there really isn't much else. Maybe Splatoon, that'll come at a future day. Who knows how long they're gonna keep them online for. It could be maybe a year, maybe. I, w I couldn't imagine more than a, much of the year. I mean, the Switch has already been out for so long. Like this late into the Wii U's lifetime, like the Wii, Wii servers were long gone. And finally, I had to buy a bunch of shovelware, a bunch of ex- the, This is where I spent the majority of my money, just buying a crap ton of shovelware, uh, other games by indie developers, and just a large variety of games. So, uh, a day, affordable s space adventures. I've heard very good reviews about. Uh, I've heard that they actually utilize the gamepad very well, which I was very excited to hear because a lot of the even the first party Nintendo games didn't utilize the gamepad well. Really, the only ones that utilized it well were like Nintendo Land, Game and Wario. Uh, not much else than that. The gamepad was was not necessary in most of the Wii U games. Oh yeah, and Super Mario Maker, obviously. I can't really say much about any of these games because I haven't really played any of them, but I'm gonna do a few follow-up videos to this video where I actually go through some of these games and play them because I figured, you know, I'm gonna play them anyway, might as well record it and so people can, and also as a way to preserve these games online because I'm sure not a lot of people own most of these games. I think I downloaded a few of these games specifically because they had like two or three downloads like some of these were like not popular i think the day at the carnival like this one i don't think like anyone was downloading this like please tell me if anyone else has this specific game because i don't think like almost nobody downloaded this but i'm looking forward to, I'll, I'll play this one definitely because i'm excited i had to get this one uh, i also heard good reviews about this art program art academy this was pretty expensive so I, I hope it's worth it and yeah i bought a lot of these games just because they were really cheap uh you know i wasn't concerned about the space at the time so i just bought a lot of ones that were cheap ones that were really popular i've had this one actually for ages because uh, you know i was a kid when i bought this i really wanted minecraft on the wii u they didn't have it yet so i bought this and that's actually why this game actually did really popular be because and that's actually what pe led to Minecraft being on the Wii U. I think of the the Wii as my childhood, but the Wii U is definitely a big part of my childhood too. You know, I was 11 years old when I got my Wii U, so definitely grew up a lot on this console as well as the Wii. And yeah, a lot of these games were either just really cheap, I heard good reviews, or they were just on the bestseller list, so I just bought them automatically, like this one was on the bestseller list. I don't know what this game <laughs> even is, but it was popular, so I figured I'd buy it. It's popular for a reason, I suppose. And yeah, most of these games were just on sale. I, I, I should do a video with this one. Mario Kart 8, but every time I get hit, I hit the, I switch to Hello Kitty Cruisers. That's a, that's a video. I don't know if you can even get hit in this game. I have no idea like what the mechanics of this are, but maybe I'll do that. And yeah, you guys can just look through this. I'm not going to bother commentating over this. Yo, this, I feel scammed. And Nintendo scammed me because when I bought this, they also gave me a code to use on the 3DS so I could get the 3DS version of this game. So I bought this one expecting that. I spent, I, I entered like a 50 digit password on the 3DS so that I could redeem it. It was so long, it was such a long redemption code. And then the 3DS was like, nah, we can't do that. And this was hours before the shop closed. And they were like, nah, we, we don't take those anymore. I never understood that too, cause like, especially with prepaid cards like why would they deny that because it's prepaid it's not like you know when i'm especially when i'm able to just go on the switch and enter it there and then i can just that's how i got most of the funds for this 
because they, they disabled adding funds to the Wii U directly a long time ago. So that was basically false advertising. I should shoot Nintendo because they said I would get the 3DS version, but when I bought this and even when I put it in, it didn't give it to me. And I couldn't fit it in all in one folder. So here's is the rest of them. I, I don't know if this game's just a Rubik's Cube. I was just curious. So I, I haven't played, I haven't played any of these. Oh, I played some of these games. Like some of these games I've had for years, but like 90% of these games I just bought. I heard good things about this one too. I actually, I spent $50 on the 3DS. I didn't spend as much on the 3DS, but I bought the Pushmo games on the 3DS because I heard they were good. I don't think I really have much else to say. So I'll just scroll through here so you guys can see all the games that I got. Yeah, if there's anything you guys want me to actually play, please let me know. I, I definitely want to make some videos playing these games. I don't know what these are, like Wii U Panorama View. I'm definitely going to be going through these in my videos where I'm... I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to do playing through these games. I guess it depends on how much fun I have, how good some of these games are. And then these are just free games. They were free, so I thought, you know, why wouldn't you get them? And of course, you know, I just thought I would get... You know, I thought, why not? They're free. I, I might as well get some demos, so... <laughs> I just downloaded as many as I could. I actually couldn't get one. There was one demo I couldn't get. It was another one of these that I couldn't get because that would put me over the 300 mark. So that was something I had to sacrifice. Actually, I guess I could have just used another USB drive. So yeah, I spent over $1,000 on these games. I bought an $80 hard drive just so I could store these games. So please show some support to this video because, man, I, you know, I, I put a lot of money into this. And... I figured, real quick, I'm going to show you guys my Wii Shop games, because I don't think I've ever showed them, so I think I'm going to show them now, just so you guys can see what I've had on my Wii Shop, just in case you're curious. Alright, yeah, so as you can see, I got some more NES games here. I don't even think some of these were on the Wii U Shop. Like, I don't think Adventures of Blob was on the Wii U Shop, and like most of these, I just don't think were on it at all. Oh, look, I already have Super Mario Bros. 3 on, and the original on this. And of course we got some SNES games, some ones I didn't have on the Wii U shop, obviously. I, I don't think I bought the same game twice, but yeah, but like a lot of these Wii games just weren't on the Wii U shop. And yeah, these were the N64 games I was talking about. I got Mario Kart, Mario Party, Super Mario 64, and Smash Bros, and Pokemon Snap. You know, these are really all you need. My Sega Genesis, we got Master System. I'll, I'll wait for the screens to load because I don't know, they just like to turn a little bit. And, you know, for someone who's played very minimal Street Fighter, I sure own a lot of Street Fighter games. And, yeah, here we got the WiiWare. I didn't buy as much, all right? I didn't buy as much from the Wii Shop as I did from the Wii U Shop. Got to rem remind you that now I actually have a job. And back then, uh, all I had was an $8 minimum wage job. I wasn't able to afford as much back then. Uh, don't ignore this. And, of course, the two classics. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Save Data Update Channel. And crunchy roll yeah let me know which ones you want me to play art of balance is actually good i highly recommend which you can't get anymore because it's gone but i would recommend it but yeah i don't know how to do this outro so goodbye